What would you do? You're minding your own business. You just getting out of work. And you say, you know what? I'm going to stop by Circle K. Maybe get, get some chips and some dip. And uh, head home and see the family. You standing in line. And some dude walks in with a gun. Orders everybody down. And said, I'm fitting to die in this B.I.H. And uh, lock the doors. It's a wrap. What would you do? Would you be a hero? And, and try to look for an open opportunity to snatch that gun from him? Because this guy was. It looks like a scene out of a Hollywood blockbuster. Yet in May 2018, it happened here in Phoenix. Gas station hostages fighting back and subduing their attacker before making a dramatic escape. Hey, we've got a robbery or something going on at Grant and 19th Avenue Circle K. At 9 that morning, customers can be seen entering and leaving the store, including this police officer. If only he had stayed a few more minutes. Moments later, this man enters, Joel McLean Carson. Within a minute, McLean shot and killed 24-year-old Ephraim Hernandez before turning his rage on the other people in the store. He said, this is not a game, this is not a joke, I don't want no money, don't want no beer. I came prepared to die. McLean then orders an employee to lock the front door before he barricades it with a donut case. Someone's inside telling him to lock the door and yelling at him, and it's happening pretty quick. Customers were then ordered to the back of the store. With one man already dead, security video catches the moment a customer fights McLean before all others join in. I'm not going to lie, I, put, I turned a gun to Hold up. Let me get some of this. 2018, Let me get it happened up. here up? in Phoenix. Up? Gas up? station up? hostages uh, fighting uh, back and... My stomach and I tried to pull the trigger. I, it was my only instinct to get myself out of the situation. With the store now empty, McLean appeared dazed and confused. After almost an hour, though, SWAT crews barreled in. McLean was shot once but survived. A year later, he is still awaiting trial, facing murder and assault charges, all as video of his disturbing crime spree becomes public. I don't know, this guy had to be on something, or he just came to the end of the road. But all I got to say is when that shit happens, man, why you got to always, when, whenever you hear of people going crazy, going off the deep end, you know, it, it's hard for me to say, but, but why don't you just take out yourself, bro? Why do you have to shoot an innocent dude like he did? Why do you have to get all these people in the store held hostage? You probably were planning on killing them. It's like, bruh, if, if you came to terms with you don't want to live no more, then dome yourself. You don't got to take it out on everybody else. But I will never understand that. Every time you see someone off the rocker going crazy, they want to take people with them. And that's effed up, man. What would you guys have done in this situation? I think it's pretty honorable what the dude did. That's dope as hell. I salute him. I mean, if it wasn't for him, who knows? There could have been two, three, four, five dead more bodies, right? But uh, he was able to run for that gun, catch dude slipping. And uh, it took the rest of y'all long enough to jump in and start helping dude out. I mean, damn, he was fighting with dude for a good 5, 10 seconds. As soon as you seen him grab that gun and they start wrestling, someone needs to just jump up. But I like how OG fights us over there start uh, pounding on dude's head. That's what you got to do. And uh, fortunately, these guys are all alive. Unfortunately, this man still killed the other guy in cold blood. So RIP to him. It's your boy Jay Nutty. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out of here. Doses.